Three, four, two, one is my placing of this market hog class. Now I logically start the class with threes. He simply leads with more muscle and overall frame. He's a powerfully constructed hog and simply this wide belted barrow spreads more width, dimension, and shape through his retail cuts. Sees more pride open through his lower rib and has a larger circumference of hand. In addition, he moves with more reach up front and more flex to his hocks. Now sure, I could have seen my class winner more balanced from blade to hip. But bottom line, I keep the growing market industry in mind when choosing my class winner, in which he'll lead the class with his market fundamentals, so he'll take a higher dollar amount to the rail. Now sure, Floor was a wide constructed hog, but when viewed from behind, he gives up the profound product potential when compared to three, as he's flatter through his hams, so I'll leave him at a close second. But with this being said, he still leads my remaining trio with a top side advantage, as he carries more flair and definition to his loin edge, is more open through his lower rib, and that allowing him to hang a more profitable carcass for rail. Now sure, to as level as any in the ring, but bottom line, shoot, this white gilt was a narrower design, was a tighter designed gilt, and she was narrowed through her rib, so I leave her third today. But in my final pair, it's two sheer width and lean gain that gives her an incentive over one, as she simply more offer, offers more power through her loin and ham to allow her to hang a meteor carcass at the rail. Now sure, one was the largest constructed hog of the class, but bottom line, this guilt was the was a narrow tracking, wider, con more conditioned hog who simply needs to finish with more genuine width and three-dimensional expression through her center and lower portions of her hams, as well as on her top side to move her on up in the class today and maximize her terminal value. So I'll leave her last. Thank you.